In today's tutorial, we'll go over making lip sync using OpenArt. Let's dive right in. The first step is creating your character. Start by generating an image. Simply prompt your image in Sora or any image generator you like. Download the one you prefer and upload it into OpenArt. I'll use my usual image, Anna. We'll head over to OpenArt. On the home page, click on Lip Sync. It brings you to this page here. You have two options. You can use text to video where you get to describe the kind of character you want. We already have a character, so we'll use the second option, which is image to video. Click on upload to add our image. I will turn off sound since I don't want any sound effects on my video. You can leave the lip sync option on, paste your script here and choose a voice from their library. However, I prefer to add my own voice recording, so I will turn this feature off. I'll add a prompt here to guide the video generation. I'll type, she is talking with natural facial expressions and hand movement, looking at the camera. She is not moving a lot. I always add she isn't moving a lot because I've found that most lip sync platforms struggle to lip sync to exaggerated animations. Once done, I'll hit create. This is the output. It has no sound, which is what we wanted. However, I feel like the animation wasn't as controlled as I prefer it to be. I'll still attempt to lip sync to it. First, I'll head over to Eleven Labs and create an audio. The video we generated is only six seconds long, so I don't need a long script for this. I'll paste my script here and choose a voice from my library, then generate. I'll download it to my desktop. Let's head back to Open Art. We'll head over to the audio section, click on the video upload section, but instead of uploading from the desktop, we'll click on history. Here is the video we previously made. Select it and click confirm. While our video is uploading, we'll upload audio on the lip sync section. Make sure to keep all other options like the sound effects turned off, otherwise it will ruin our output. Our audio is only four seconds long whilst the video is six seconds long. Click create. This is the output we got. If you find this video helpful so far, click on that like button. It helps push the video out. I'm not a fan of the output and I was going to rate the lip sync quite low, but OpenArt has so many different models. I had originally used Hilo, so I decided to switch between the different models to see the ones I liked best. VO trees produce the best results. You simply paste your script and put what you want your character to say in quotation marks. As you can see, I opted for a 750p resolution and used the fast mode. This still cost me 1,500 credits to generate. I cannot complain about the results. This segment is animated using the VO3 inside of OpenArt. It's the most expensive and doesn't allow lip sync. We'll generate a similar video in VO3. Bit segment of the video was made with VO3 in Gemini. As you can see, there even matches the difference between the two outputs. Same thing with Kling. This is a video made with Kling inside open art. I set it to 10 seconds animation and I use the master mode which costs 1000 credits. Way cheaper than VO3. And I absolutely loved the quality. Let's head to the official Kling website and generate a similar video. We shall animate the same character Anna for 10 seconds. Make sure to add your negative prompts of the things you don't want on your output. If you're on the free version, this will take a really long time, but I'm on the paid version of Kling. Within a couple of minutes, we have our output. I shall click on Lip Sync. As usual here, you can either paste a script or upload an audio. I find that using inbuilt voices in Kling works even better than uploading an audio. The rest of this segment is lip synced using Kling. Part of it, I pasted my script, chose my voice from their built-in library and generated my video. Because the voice generated sounds completely different from my voice, I simply download the video without the watermark. Head over to Eleven Labs. On the left panel, we'll use the voice changer and upload our video. Then select my voice clone and regenerate the output. Then using an editor, remove the original voice and replace it with your own. Here's the result. The rest of this segment is lip synced using Kling. Part of it, I pasted my script, chose my voice from their built-in library, and generated my video. If you're enjoying the video so far, like and subscribe. Yes, it helps boost the video in the algorithm. 
I use Google AI Pro plans and Kling Premier plan, and those two cost me over $100 a month, not factoring in my 11 Labs Creator plan, which is $22 a month. While AI tools make a creator's work easier, there is no denying the fact that they're expensive. OpenArt is an excellent choice if you're new to AI and you want to try a bunch of the tools available but aren't ready to commit to any just yet. And at the same time, you don't want to spend so much money up front. Their essential plan is about $15 a month and you get to try different softwares. As always, I will leave all the links in the description box below. Thanks for watching.